We are on our summer 2022 road trip. Yes. Glaciers National Park. Biking, hiking, and kayaking. Kayaking. We had a great time exploring the east side of Glacier National Park before heading into Canada. We're Rich and Robin. And this is our midlife van. Robin, we're in Montana. We are in Montana. We are in Glacier National Park. Very cool. Rich's yes. first time. Very first time and very impressed. We've been here for six. I guess it's going to be six nights, right? I think about yeah. six nights. We were excited to get to Glacier National Park and meet up with our friends that just built out a camper van. Yeah, they, they, just, got done, and they just got done with their transit uh, camper van and Ron did a beautiful job. I mean, he's a, a carpenter by trade, he puts ours to shame. But. We've seen some elk driving, um, hiking we have seen, black bear, grizzly bear, a couple of moose. Yep. And, uh, Pretty cool. and it's been, been It's been great. great, yeah. We've been at Mini Glacier here for, like we said, about five nights, and it just seems like there's still more things to see, but yeah. I think. What's been surprising about Mini Glacier, it's, we're kind of very, not kind of, we are very remote here in Mini Glacier, and it seems like all our neighbors that have been camped here have been here for one night. Yeah, right. I'm not sure why you'd go through the hassle of getting all the way here. But and maybe they're one night. on maybe a road trip doing through. a lot of parks. And yeah. But some really good hikes. Yeah. Very enjoyable. So we will be back. For sure. Yeah. We were excited to get to Glacier National Park and meet up with our friends. And unfortunately, they hit a deer. Yeah, over in somewhere. North, North Dakota. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like the Black Dakotas. Hills or something. Yeah, right. And so, yeah. hit a deer, a little baby deer, I guess, but it still did enough damage. Took out the grill, uh, punctured the AC condenser, and thought that was kind of it. But then they went into town to grab some food, and uh, the radiator started leaking. They had to have it towed to a larger shop, and hopefully they're going to have parts, everything done yeah. by Monday. So hopefully we'll meet three back. Days or so. Hopefully yeah. we'll meet back up with them. But for now, we're on our own, yeah. and back on our own again. We are. So now that we've been in Glacier for five, five days, five nights, six, six nights, nights, six, six nights, nights. Yeah, right. We are going to head tomorrow across the border into going Canada. Going across which border? <laughs> the Canada not border. Mexico? We're not going to are Mexico. Sure? Come we're on. going to Canada. No, you're, we did you're, Mexico three times okay, this year. Okay, we're going so to Canada. Let's go to the other border. Yes. Let's go. We had a great time exploring the east side of Glacier National Park with our friends. And while they waited for their van to be repaired, we headed across the border to Canada. Before heading out, we emptied our dirty water and filled up on clean water. Clean water from our national park system. Thank you, Yogi Bear. Can we get to the water? stuff on my hose. Got our little fill nozzle. This thing is handy. It gets the right curve for us. I need a flashlight. Oh, <laughs> to the rocks first, I guess. <laughs> yeah. When doing your dirty water, do the dirtiest water first. Yes. And then just the cleaning water last. To clean the area of the dump station. Just like that. Go ahead and flip the switch of the gray while we clean up inside. on to 
Air Can, the Canadian Border Service Agency's website and app to enter our travel information to make crossing the border easier. One mile. We are on the U.S. side of the U.S. and Canadian border. By using AirCan, all our information we entered was linked to our passports, and all we had to do was give our passport at the border any information needed for crossing the border. At the time of our crossing, we needed to have vaccine documentation, which we had uploaded to the AirCan website, which made our Canadian border crossing much smoother. We're leaving Montana. It says Pike in Montana, so. Going back Small in the line US. getting back in the U.S. and we're gonna go up here where it says stop. Everyone must report to border inspection on your left lane here. Now our signs are in, in French and English. Stop. Yeah, it's a law. Until lane is clear. Well, the lane is clear. And then it's green. I do not know. Oh, hello. How are you today? Good. Somebody in there? Two, Two of us. Just your passport. You don't need this. We filled it all out. Yeah. Yeah, you do have to do that, but I don't need to see it. Once I scan your passport, it will link to it. Okay. Where are you going? Bam. Bam. How long do you plan to be in Canada? I think four days. Alcohol or tobacco there with the police? Um, we have some beer. A gun or other weapon? Can, uh, mace, pepper spray, taser, stun gun? Uh, uh, we have bear spray. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Any cannabis, cannabis related product? No. Okay. All set? Uh, yeah, any watercraft? There with you, inflatable canoes, kayaks. Foldable we have two kayak. folding kayaks. Okay. They were just inspected. Uh, they're going to be inspected again. Again. <laughs> again. You're just going to pull forward to the end of our building and then just swing in around where Water, those phones where are. Where the white sign is. The inspectors will just come over and take a look. But before the sign or after the just sign? Just after the sign. You'll yeah. see where it is. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Alberta. Wild Rose Country. See the cones right here? So just pull in, in there. But I got them inspected in the U.S. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just inspected, right? Good morning. Good. Morning. Good. How are you doing? Yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, this is the brand new one, probably. So it like unfolds and. And pull back up in like a minute and a half. So, yeah, you're all good to go. Uh, all set? He's got equipment inspection for it for you. Okay. So, it just shows you what we found out, like you told you when you get this bomb. Yeah. I think they're on that inspection. So, yeah, once you pack up, you're all good to head on your way. Thank you. Enjoy. We are in 
Bam! Bam. National Park. That was pretty easy. The line looked like it was going to be pretty long, but it went really fast. It didn't take long to get into Banff, and our uh, surprise, surprise, our United States National Park pass yeah. didn't work. So it's like $21 Canadian a day for a family. Uh, we're going to be here four or five days. We thought it would be best just go ahead and get the annual pass. So it's $145 Canadian. To Give us 12 months uh, for all uh, Canadian uh, national parks yep. and national monuments too. So hopefully that'll uh, encourage us to go seek out some more parks out here, up here. After trying a couple of first come first serve campsites in Banff, we decided to head down the Icefield Parkway towards Jasper to see if we could find, find a campground along the way. Subscribe and follow along on our next adventure as we drive from Banff to Jasper National Park along the Icefield Parkway in Canada.